Let me show you a really hot tip on how to juice up your Volta system driving around town by using different gears. Stay tuned. So I discovered a great way to really put some juice into the battery pack while driving around town or on short stints of the freeway, certainly driving less than 60 to 90 minutes, which would totally charge this thing up to 100%. Uh, let me share with you something I discovered, I've tested, and I've actually verified with Volta that it's okay for the system to be uh, used in this manner. And it's probably okay for the transmission too, but let me show you this. Well, let's do some experiments here as we um, move through the morning and just show you how much this puts juice in the in the battery pack. Uh, I'm gonna put this into park just so we can see that one last time. There's Luke, he's ready to go. <laughs> All right, so moving to the rag. So right now we're at 40% state of charge. You guys can see that. It is currently, time check, uh, 8 a.m. So I'll be at my destination in about 45 minutes or so. Um, I don't know the exact route in terms of if it's all highway or city, but I want this thing maxed out from a charge perspective. So that's where we're gonna do this. So the key is, um, even though I'm in park right now, is to use the manual gears of the uh, transmission. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this into drive, but I'm gonna put it, push the lever to the left so that I am now in manual mode. You can see that by the plus minus being illuminated and you can see that first gear is on the display. Get my hand out of the way. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna juice this up to one, two, three, four in the city, fourth gear, and fifth gear on the highway. So I'm getting ready to go to the highway. So um, what this does is it locks the gear from going no higher than what you set it at. And I'm uh, decelerating. It changes from, like in the, on the highway, I have it locked to go not higher than fifth gear, so it would not go into sixth. Um, and as I come to a stop, it does downshift automatically back to first. And then when I accelerate, it goes all the way from one, two, three, four, five, and stops in fifth gear. And what you're gonna see is this dramatically increases the RPMs of the engine rotation, which increases the RPMs of the second Volta alternator. And again, checking with Jack Johnson, he's the um, CEO and founder of, of Volta, great guy. As you know, you've seen him on, his, uh, on our interviews with him. Um, he actually shows here the RPM range and how much more difference that extra thousand RPMs makes on the Volta generator, the second generator. And it's really not a lot different than just, you know, driving around a stick shift. Um, I drove a stick shift for many, many years and you don't drive around the city in fifth and sixth gear. You usually drive around the city in third and fourth gear. Kind of the same deal here. Um, I am sensitive to the transmission, not overworking it, not over revving it. Um, See that I'm in sixth gear. This is normal, just drive, but I'm showing the sixth gear because I'm in the manual mode on the transmission. So normally it would be in sixth gear at this point, driving highway speed, 60 miles an hour. I'm at 1500 RPMs. And what we want is to basically do what it just did, which is downshift. So I'm going to very carefully, without running off the road, move this gear shift into fifth gear. Let me get past this little curve here. Life-threatening moves for the Go Small Live Large viewer. I'm gonna make this go into fifth gear. There, so now you can see that it's now revving at 2,500 RPMs and it stays in fifth gear. And then when I come up to the light up here, it's gonna downshift and then as I pull away, it will start from first, go to second, third, fourth, and then stay in fifth if we get into that uh, much speed. So that's what we're doing. You can see the dramatic difference in the RPMs. It's a thousand RPMs difference. And with a battery a state of charge at about, what was it, 40%, um, she is really thirsty back there, uh, the battery pack, and it's gonna just suck up the juice. So this is really great. Way, uh, doing about 50 miles an hour, uh, still in fifth gear. Uh, I'm gonna actually boost this up to sixth so you can see what the RPMs would do. And they drop all the way down to 1500, you see that? and still going about 50 miles an hour here in Dallas morning traffic. And again, the magic here is to downshift using the manual shifter so that it stays in fifth gear on the highway. And you can see again, the dramatic difference in the RPMs, uh, about 2,500 RPMs, which is exactly where we want. 
uh, up to about 3,000. All right, let's pay attention to the road, shall we? Shift here. So now it's going to lock out at third gear. And uh, I get 3,000 RPMs. Don't really want to go much beyond that. So 3,500. I'm going to have to shift again to fourth gear. And that's about uh, where we want. So now we're going about 40 miles an hour. So that's the uh, quick update. All right, so it's about a 40 minute drive in total. I got to my destination. So let's check the state of charge gauge. So we went from 40% to about 90% state of charge in about a 40 minute, pretty heavy traffic, uh, slow speed situation. And that's why I just love this discovery of being able to charge my battery nearly to 100% in under uh, an hour in pretty slow traffic. Hopefully that is uh, useful to you um, Volta owners and you Volta owners, you know how we just love our Volta Lithium Pure 3 systems, um, the freedom that it gives you. And this is just another reason to uh, get a Volta and maximize your RV freedom. It's just incredibly awesome. Give it a try. I know there's a bunch of you that are gonna have a whole lot of uh, questions on warranty and engine wear and tear and gas mileage. Guys, I don't do this all the time. It's just when I wanna put a few extra uh, volts into the system and I don't drive my rig around in third gear. I let it do its magic all the time, except when I need something like this. So please uh, refrain from yelling at me. <laughs> and um, gas mileage, it's city mileage, so it's, it's in, in material, in my opinion. And warranty, drivetrain, you know, no different than maybe pulling a trailer or going up and down hills. So I think we're safe there. So again, really appreciate that. Um, until we see you again, I wish you to journey on. So I'm plugged into shore power, but my Volta lithium system state of charge SOC gauge is at 30%. I've been plugged in since last night about 6 p.m. What's the problem? Well, it helps to turn the power on. Another reason why I love my Volta system I've had 110 amp or 30 amp 110 volt service all night long. Didn't even know it. I was running off battery. Oh, so cool, right? Volta. Roll with Volta.